All lives matter. All lives matter. All lives matter. Incident at Kentucky State Fair results in fleeing crowds, multiple arrests. This was written by Anna Brinez and Krista Johnson for the Louisville Carrier, published 10 hours ago as of August 22nd, 2022. Noises believed to be gunfire interrupted the Kentucky State Fair midway Saturday night, sending people running from the area and resulting in several arrests. Growing up in Louisiana, I loved going to the fair. The fair is like a tradition for people in, you know, middle America having fun eating funnel cake uh riding the cheap roller coasters going on that whirl around thing where you hold the bars but of course in america the tradition has to be at any public gathering at any mass event any place where people are supposed to just have fun and be safe there has to be there has to be some level of violence that goes with it kentucky state police said in a statement saturday evening they took multiple people into custody with charges pending but no one was hurt Thank God. Thank God no one was hurt, but this could have been another mass shooting incident. We are sitting on 496 mass shootings in 2022 alone. From January 1st as of August 22nd, 496 mass shootings have happened in the United States. A mass shooting is when four or more people are shot at one time. And we, as Americans, find this normal. This story gets 200 words in some article in some newspaper that nobody reads this does not hit national headlines nobody seems to care because americans say this level of violence is worth your god-given right to own a gun stupid a courier journal reporter at the fairgrounds heard sounds shortly after 9 p.m in in the midway near the big slide ride prompting waves of people to flee ain't that a bitch you're about to hop on the big slide ride you, with you and Paul Paul, and then you hear gunshots. I would still get on the big slide ride because at this point, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to have fun. Anyway, let's continue. After this thing, after things eventually calmed, roughly eight state troopers tackled what appeared to be a juvenile fleeing from them outside the big tent. It was the first of several arrests. The Kentucky State Fair said in a statement that they began a soft close of the fair at 10 p.m. because of the incident around 9.20 p.m. State police and fair security are handling the investigation. The identity of the people arrested has not been released. In 2019, the Kentucky State Fair altered its entry guidelines in the aftermath of a shooting scare, requiring juveniles entering the fairgrounds after 6 p.m. to be accompanied by a parent or guardian over the age of 21. Hopefully, also, this is a gun-free zone. This is a place where it's prohibited to bring your guns. But knowing Kentucky and knowing that they probably have very, very lax gun laws in acquiring guns, carrying guns, open carry, uh, concealed carry, all that sort of stuff, I wouldn't be surprised if in Kentucky they only change their guidelines to say that you have to have a concealed weapons permit to walk into the Kentucky State Fair. Anyway, I'm, I'm just presuming, but overall, in Kentucky, in America as a whole, too many guns permeate and proliferate all throughout the society, which allows this to happen. Some stupid people in my comments will say, these kids, kids, by the way, were criminals, and they don't care if there is a law that says you cannot have a gun or not. You're goddamn right. You're goddamn right they won't care if there's a law that says you can or can't have a gun, or you can or can't shoot people, or whatever. But in every society and in every country, there are criminals. There are people who want to do criminal acts, but we don't hear about mass shootings happening in France, Germany, Italy, Spain, the UK, any other European, Western, civilized, as some people would say, nation does not have the same level of violence as the United States. There are countries in the third world that do not have the level of violence in the United States. If you want to compare the United States to El Salvador, cartel controlled mexico brazil whatever if you want to compare it to that sure yes but also in that same breath say the united states is a third world nation that cannot protect its citizens i'll continue kentucky state police officials examined the possible charges against a teen who was suspected of firing a gun at the fair which caused chaos in the aftermath of a reported shooter the incident also included teens shooting fireworks in the crowd and claiming there was an active shooter in an attempt to incite panic among the fairgoers the story will be updated but it still will not reach national attention or headlines so once again we need to abolish the second amendment we don't need to racialize violence white americans black americans all sorts of Americans are shooting each other, killing each other at a 
rate that is unacceptable. It's embarrassing. It's a shame. Uh, make America safe for the first time. I was about to say again, but it's never been safe since its inception. But we have the possibility and we have the and we have the capacity to change if we change our minds and get rid of the gun culture in america having the gun does not make you american it is not your god-given right if somebody can point to me in the bible where jesus said carrying the sword is what makes you a man or carrying the sword is god's commandment i will delete every video i've ever made if you can tell me one quote from your bible from your lord and savior jesus christ or whoever you believe in or from the founding fathers how about that from the founding fathers from jesus christ tell me which one of them said having a gun makes you american makes us safe makes our country great or makes you closer to god it doesn't this is an embarrassment this is a shame uh i hope nobody gets hurt at any fair we need to make america safe for all of us my name is simon hill thank you for watching